Ahoy, ye mateys! Today, I would like to share with you another ranked match on my privateer. This was against a swashbuckler who was running a hyper-aggressive build with the swashbuckler banner. Also, this is the first time I am doing a video with uh, the in-game music and sound effects recorded instead of music added afterwards. Not sure how well this works, but let's see. Alright, I am here with friendly Jess Pugh. He runs a very, very interesting style. Basically, he goes with a hyper-aggressive build uh, with a swashbuckler banner. What that does is um, it increases the agility, weapon power, and dodge for all swashbucklers. And the only way to remove those buffs is to actually disable the banner, but he usually puts it in a spot that's difficult to access. Um, so he has like no heals, like he's just you know, going all out aggressive, uh, tight, rank 2 tight, agility buff on his pet, uh, boarding knights for an extra assassin, and I think this is his only heal. Yeah, so um, he also runs Forbiddens. I'm playing the tankiest class in the game and he's playing the most aggressive class in the game. Alright. Uh, Battle Angel has first strike three, relentless two. Okay, that's the Valor's shield that he stole from my class trainer. I've actually never barricaded against him before because like he just charges so quickly usually. Okay, fan has blade 2, relentless 2. That's an aggressive fan, it's not a first strike 3 fan. Uh, Contessa is also an aggressive Contessa, blade storm, relentless 2. Okay, he's gonna put on a crit buff. Hmm, which unit has the lowest health? I'm gonna go for Fan. And summon a level 100 something summon. So this thing is level 106 because of the max mojo buff. Okay, he put on fans, crit buff. He's gonna use Contessa's guarded. The hedgehog is killing itself. Do I still have my- oh, I don't have- okay, I'm gonna- Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can Nozika reach? Nope.
I wasn't sure whether to use Contessa's hide or not because um, with the swashbuckler banner, his units get ridiculous agility so they can actually overwhelm Contessa just because of their stat advantages. Okay, he's gonna put on the banner. Oh, he's actually gonna kill the Corsair this time. That's smart. Okay, um... Fan needs to die. Oh, she can't even reach. Um, I'm gonna start buffing Nausicaa. He does not have Purge, so... That's one um, thing I don't need to worry about. Thank you! <laughs> he said nice armor! It's a 2k absorb. Was he trying to remove the armor? Because I know the Haywire Angel has like a special attack that can remove... Oh my goodness, don't tell me my Contessa's dead. Yeah, they are getting like ridiculous amounts of stat advantages from- and also his pet has Rainbow Blessing. So that's his strat. Like he actually got to, I think, somewhere around High Veteran or Hero because of that. This ridiculous charging strat. Oh, Nozika's armor didn't get removed. Okay. Um... Contessa has to hide. I got an epic heal, alright. With the mojo buffs as well. Whoever breaks the barricade is getting shot in the face. Alright, looks like the Haywire Angel is our first victim. I'm gonna have Contessa break the banner for me. 
So then he has to choose between killing Scratch this turn or I don't know, doing something else. We'll see. Can you burst fire please? Burst fire on the angel, come on. I do I did not tell you to shoot Pew. Ah <sighs> so annoying. By some miracle, my Nausicaa's alive. <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, this is really tempting right now. Said that's the best my companions could do, eh? Oh man, they have such high dodge from the banner and a rainbow blessing. Okay, he's gonna fog them. Oh, I think I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna uh, use the Haywire Angel's long distance attack on me. Okay, now they all have reduced agility for two turns. Because I disabled the banner. I also have increased mojo flow and a will buff so I can get some critical soul shouts hopefully. Okay, he's gonna go for scratch. <laughs> wow, scratch tank somehow. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Shield on.
<laughs> that Contessa doesn't even have first strike because of his weird build. <laughs> okay, Scratch is dead now. <laughs> He was supposed to be dead. <clears throat> Yeah, that fan doesn't have first strike either. So let's do that. Give her a zeal. Yep. Oh, it didn't get into that list. That was close though. Okay, fan. If she wants to approach, she has to go through the flames, so she's gonna die. Can the Corsair kill Fan, please? Hedgehog got burned? Oh, interesting. Okay, goodbye, fan. I'm gonna guess that he's gonna try Forbiddance now. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna hide. Don't walk in darkness. Well, I guess I might as well shield now because, like, he's probably just gonna forbidden. Okay, I'm not sure why he did that. Oh, I see, because his agility buff was gonna run out anyways, so... I guess he just wanted to try and get a super while it's up. Okay, we're gonna wait for his agility buff to wear off. Uh, before I have Contessa attack. Okay, he's gonna... Oh, that's not the curse. Okay. I don't know what my buffaloon is thinking. <laughs> Whoa, it actually hit! Wow. <laughs> Might as well do this while I have the mojo. Epic! Yeah, mojo and crit buff. Let me guess. 
Oh, he's gonna use four biddings. <laughs> Remove the regroup. Let's give Contessa an accuracy buff. <laughs> Dang, he's so dodgy, even with the accuracy buff. So dodgy. <laughs> Contessa is a higher level swashbuckler than you, and she has an accuracy bar. <laughs> So well, she is a lover. <laughs> That's more like it. I need to watch out because he hasn't used his big poison yet. And of course I don't have my uh, fort in hand. But you know what? Yeah, tight 2 on Swashbuckler is pretty strong. Or is it tight 3? Might have been tight 3 actually, I'm not sure.
two more rounds of the agility buff, one more round of fort. And I have three more rounds of increased dodge, two more rounds of Valor's shield. Oh, it didn't go super. He still has to fort up, so I am going to fort and then I'm going to assassin him. Oh, he still has a uh, Kraken's Lament from his pet. <clears throat> Well, we just need to be patient. Uh, let's do that. Okay, there goes his agility buff. Okay, that's his only big heal. He might still have a rouse after this. My armor is gone, unfortunately. He's gonna hide, I think. That's his walk in shadows, if I'm not wrong. Because he doesn't carry that many hides. Because his entire strat is fast early damage. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna hide as well. There goes his crit buff. Okay. <clears throat> He's gonna stop me from healing. If he gets really lucky, like he might actually be able to kill me with a super assassin, so Ah, oh, we'll just have to take our chances. Okay, he has first strike 3, so <clears throat> it doesn't make a difference if I hit with hidden or not because he will just disarm the increased weapon power, so I might as well put on some crit buffs. Since his Wish Hunter already went off that turn, I'm gonna go for the Soul Reaver. No crits, oh well. Okay, Assassin 
My assassin will kill him for sure, but I don't know if he can kill me this turn. I'm an elusive 4, so I'm likely to dodge his chains. However, he also has much higher agility than I have as a swashbuckler, so he is likely to get critical chains on me. Okay, he's gonna heal. Okay, I got an epic soul shroud. I am not able to heal from the soul shroud under the curse, but it does do a bit of damage which helps. So I think I don't have any choice but to go for this. Because I'm still cursed, so and I'm likely to die pretty soon. Okay, I did not get a critical, unfortunately. Gosh, he's so close to death. He literally dies of the bleeding next turn, but can he kill me this turn? Oh my gosh. Okay, I won. Yep, I won. Dang, that was so close though. <laughs> he said, oop. So yeah, that was my little feature video on Friendly Jess Pew, one of the most creative people I have met in the arena. That's just one of his eccentric builds. He has a couple other ones that are just totally out of the ordinary and very surprising if you don't understand it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and I will see you in the next video.